Uh, they're all on the back of the boat jumping up and down. So they all got told to f <laughs> gardens and a beautiful spot a great view from there back windows I don't think they're keen on gardening It's weird weather, Fran. It was really hot a couple of hours ago, so much so that we got out quickly, got the shopping, and now it feels like you're living in a cloud. It's misty, it feels like we're in mist. Hello, mist. cool breezes turned up. It's lovely, actually, I'm not complaining. Anyway, we're all sorted for the day now, so it doesn't matter. Someone's got a good contract for metal fencing around here. Wallpaper factory, that'll explain the wallpaper on the bridge. Remembers Granada TV. Blackburn was famous for its cotton mills and in 1910 had over 87,000 looms operated by 40,000 workers and Lancashire provided 30% of the world's cotton at its peak which accounted for over half of the nation's exports.
Christmas is coming, friend. I know. It's cards already. <laughs> Blackburn Cathedral dates from 1820, but wasn't given cathedral status until a hundred years later. Unfortunately, we could not go inside as it's closed on Mondays. Well here we are in Blackburn at Enham Wharf and I can honestly say not one of the best spots we've ever stayed in. Really noisy, police sirens going off at regular intervals. We had uh, some oiks bother us last night around about I don't know, half seven, eight o'clock. They'd gone past and noticed my iPad on the table so they all come to a stop, three of them. Got their tyres actually on the, <coughs> on the gunnel of the boat and I was pushing the wheels into the side of the boat while they were peering inside the window, wondering how they can get all their hands on my iPad. So I just said, uh, can I help you guys? And I got a bit of abuse from them. Um, but anyway, I just closed the windows on and closed the curtains. Next thing I know, they're all on the back of the boat, jumping up and down. So they all got told to <laughs> Anyway, um, the Caribbean pub was closed, which is a shame because we've heard good reports from it. I did meet the, uh, the guy who owns it, and really nice chap, Dave, I think his name is. Uh, so we couldn't uh, sample that delights. Um, not not the nicest of places, but uh, lots of history here. Enham Wharf is uh, an iconic place um, for coal deliveries and transportation of cotton from Liverpool to the mills here in Blackburn. And uh, uh, you know, it's a really massive centre for mill cotton production here in Blackburn then back in the day so uh, anyway I would also had a convict cell here because they used to transport the convicts by canal to Liverpool docks where they used to send them to Australia on tall ships so sorry Australia anyway uh, we've got six locks to do today and uh, it's a miserable wet day that's why I'm underneath here I've got to go and do the engine checks. I've got to get my hand into the weed hatch because uh, we couldn't reverse yesterday, so it's choked up with rubbish. And then, uh, yeah, as I say, six locks, fill up the tank with water because we're desperate for water, do a bit of washing, have a shower each, and then head off into somewhere where we can just relax and breathe. <sighs> oh, man alive. Thank you, Brackman. All wrapped round the propeller. Nice. <laughs> we virtually stopped yesterday. I was trying to reverse into this mooring spot and we just were going nowhere. I had to pull the boat in, in the end. Um, it's raining, but that may be a good thing because it will keep any troublesome characters at home in bed, well, that hopefully. should be a bloody school. That's where they should be. <laughs> this uh, little area here has been taken over by feral children and feral pigeons I think and rats and rats saw three rats run past the boat yesterday evening which was a little <laughs> bit disconcerting and I'm sure I heard scratching noises after Rich went to bed last night but <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, it's not raining as much as they said so we're just gonna go we don't care about the rain we're gonna plow on like Trojans yeah moorings are secure from that gate there to that gate there and uh, well, just the length of two boats I suppose so who'd want to be under there anyway with the pigeons uh, defecating on your roof Looks 
like the Japanese knotweed has got a grip here. Very edible and very tasty apparently. But don't tell that to Fran. <laughs> Jess is reluctant today to go and have a walk. She just wants to be back on the boat, out of the rain. Archie, on the other hand, is happy as a pig in the proverbial. Man alive, it's gone cold. Two days ago, three days ago, we were having the hottest day of the year, and now the temperature has halved at least. But uh, we're not worried, we've got our coats on. Fran's going inside in a minute to make a cup of Marmite. I think and I need uh, a bottle of gin. And we've turned up at Blackburn Lux to find that they're locked and closed. So what's the result of your phone call from Canal and River Trust, Fran? <laughs> well, it's now 11. The locks are supposed to open at 10. And I've just spoken to Nathan, who apologised profusely. I've spoken to the team and they will get somebody with us as soon as they can, but they've got to ring around the team and see who's available. I've got no time scale. So I explained to him that we're really keen to get through quickly because we've already had unwanted people on the boat last night and we don't want to hang around, but he can give me no time scale. We've just got to wait. Lovely. Well, to be honest, in our experience with Canella River Trust, when you oh. call them, they come out pretty quick, don't they? My so phone is ringing, so let's see. phone's ringing, so update imminent. Hello. What did Nathan have to say for himself, Fran? The lovely Nathan um, has said that somebody's going to be here within about 35 minutes, depending on traffic. So we've just got time to have a drink and a bicky. Cool. Right, I'll be on a hooligan watch. You get down in the galley. You're watching me while I'm in the galley, aren't <laughs> you? <laughs> well, the man from CRT turned up, as promised, and unlocked the gates. He's gone down the bottom lock now to unlock that one. Every paddle on these... Uh, locks uh, and the ground pedals also have these locking devices on them, anti-theft locks, and they have to be unlocked by pushing your key and turning it and that pops open and then you can wind the pedals up. So it's going to be a slow one today as we're on our own and uh, no lock keeper to guide us through. Not that we need one, but it is nice to uh, speed things up a bit. appears to be a lot of water coming through. Look at this. This is interesting. To step over that stone there. But if you've got a boat with a higher bow, you'd be worried about that. That is a tight squeeze. Well, that's it. That's the six locks at Blackburn done. There's something under the bridge there. So I've just uh, gone into neutral. And uh, so we've got a couple of miles or so to do now before we moor up, and already things are looking cleaner. Ish. <laughs> Park, home to the mighty Blackburn Rovers, who sadly these days are languishing in the championship. 
with their rivals Preston North End at the moment topping the table. Blackburn done or its outer regions that was Feniscal's village so we're back in the sticks now Well, it's Sunday morning and we're taking a trip off the boat. We're at Riley Green and uh, we're going to Hockton Hall? Horton Hall? Hockton, Hockton. We don't know how to say it, but we know how to spell it. And uh, we know nothing about it. There's a farmer's market on which Fran's keen to go and get uh, stuff to stick in her belly. <laughs> and, uh, but it is the place where James I in 1610, 13, something like that, uh, knighted the sirloin of beef because it was so good he decided he'd knight it and that's where sirloin comes from sirloin apparently uh, sorry for all those in America who know nothing about sirloin meat I don't know what you call it over there <laughs> but uh, anyway that's what happened so we've got about half a mile to go and uh, we've just seen people walking past with bags full of goodies so um, let's get going before we miss out come on then did you want to say anything else? I was just going to say that not only did he name the loin of beef, sirloin of beef, he also um, was here and on the Sunday he went to church. We've just heard the church bells ring and the church is behind us. And while he was at church there was um, a bit of a disturbance and the local peasants were revolting. As they are. <laughs> because um, on Sundays you weren't allowed to have any fun. So you weren't allowed to leap or vault or dance and there was one other thing I can't remember what it was I love a leap and a vault on a Sunday so, don't you as a result of that there was a decree made and a book of games was published which allowed all those activities to take place on a Sunday so we can now go and leap and vault and dance yeah to our heart's content you first 
Those Puritans put an end to that though coming up yeah. soon, didn't they? But anyway, let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> it's a kissing gate, Rich. I know. Sorry folks, all you get to see is the outside because we're not allowed to film inside. calling it Horton Hall. This is about the fourth take. <laughs> and uh, we just had a guided tour for an hour and a half. By the lovely Eric. Eric, fantastic <laughs> tour guide. Uh, a little bit long for a tour for me, but uh, we managed to get around. And, and it, it went quite quickly. Yeah. So much history and so much information that we're not even going to begin to tell you about it. Well worth a visit. It cost yeah. us 25 quid for the tour of us, for the tour. Yeah and there's a farmer's market on as well which we bought oh, a few things so many goodies and um so yeah all in all a good afternoon We're it's get... just the history of the place though isn't no, it's it immense. it's just like to yeah. walk around places shakespeare's been here and all sorts of other people have been here and you're walking around rooms that they've been in shakespeare and, and... condoleezza rice <laughs> and other luminaries <laughs> or warmongers and us <laughs> and we've been here now <laughs> We didn't get to sleep in the King's room though, did we? No. Yeah. Anyway, we've had a fabulous bit of cake and we've got a bag full of um, samosas and all sorts yeah. of goodies to take back to the boat with us. So, and the dogs are on their own, so we have to go. Yeah. So, over and out. This building was also a magistrate's building and there are cells down below. And uh, notice the stone balls on the roof. And the more balls you have, the bigger the magistrate you were. <laughs> Just saying. I don't think you could say that. <laughs> 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 